Hello, today we're going to fix it. Leaking Chroma Dual Flush System. Now this is uh, the system here. Come over here, cameraman. It's a dual flush mechanism. And now what we'll do is first things first, we'll turn off the isolation valve down here. So we switch that off and we drain the system out. So as you can see, there's no water in the system. Now, camera assistant, if you could just hold that for me. Now, what we're gonna do to take this out, there's a couple of clips here. Here we go, just keep holding it there, camera assistant, without your hand over there. There we go, okay. Uh, a bit more like that, there we go. Right, that'll, that'll help people to see. So, we're gonna take it out, and you just have to push those clips and then slide it out. And then if you look there, if you just hold it still, um, you can see the problem is these bubbles here. These little bubbles is where the, the, water comes, uh, the water comes in. So what we're gonna do is we'll just take that seal off. It just stretches over there like that. And then um, uh, we've got a replacement seal. It's right here. There we go. Now this thing here costs about three bucks at Bunnings. Um, now, I think you can probably get, they're called, it's called Fixer Tap. It's probably, you can get it for all different brands. So we're just gonna chuck that on there. Uh, you just stretch it over like that. Okay, and now we're gonna put this back in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna slide it in the same way that we got it out. Oops, back to front like this and we'll push it in here and it should click there we go put the lid back on that's it that's all you have to do to fix a Coroma dual flush system leaking valve